Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the house. This is the first bedroom. Um, it has a small balcony that goes out the back. This built-in cabinet that we'll keep. And a rather large bathroom with a urinal. Did you see this sort of porch area? This goes to the main part of the house. The large front area that could be used for eating. Large open space sliding doors. A very teeny tiny kitchen area with a gigantic door that leads right out to the back. Another large open space that can be made into a office or classroom. Um, a marble or a stone bar that can be used as reception. Takes you out into another outdoor entrance. A rather large um, room that has another door that leads to the outside to the back. So double entries. A small bathroom. Another bedroom the same as the other, exactly on the opposite. I think this one may be just a bit bigger. This bathroom has some water damage that will need to be addressed. Um, another balcony out to the back. large green space in the front. This is the another small two bedroom house that can be used as the kindergarten. living space. A bedroom. No light in the bedroom. This is a bigger bedroom, but it's locked because there's someone that's staying here. A much larger kitchen, but no appliances and another bathroom another door that leads to the back that allows you access to the garden space There is another large building with just one main room and a small room off to the side. Um, it's in serious need of repair. And I don't know if it would be able to be used immediately or not.
this is the other building. And this is the continuation of the green space. It's rather enormous. The property goes all the way to the wall in every direction. I guess that's that. It's quiet. It's lovely. There's the door to the kitchen. <laughs> 